Hi, I want to give you a brief overview on the Let's Go Learn system. First of all, when I'm logged in as a teacher or a parent, this is what I see. I am on the Home tab. From here, I get lots of great information. Could be some district-specific information, some general information. I can also look over here on the left, and I can see a teacher getting started. I also have some great professional development options. So this first one here, On Demand Courses, allows me to take a course in various different areas of our system. So it could be system getting started, it could be uh, using instruction, it could be advanced topics. But these are our video uh, courses where you actually watch video and you answer some questions, um, you watch another video. So that way it really spoon feeds the teacher or user how to use a system very slowly and make sure that they digest what to do. If we go to the video library, this is where I would get um, a la carte option. So I could just say, how do I add a student? How do I queue up a test? And I could just click on different videos to see how to do things. All right? We also have other links as well, knowledge base, request support, and other great things. Now if I come over to the class tab, this is where I see my entire class. If you're a larger district, we're probably connecting with your SIS system, bringing in your students automatically. Um, I could also go ahead and queue up individual activities. I could start a student on an assessment if I wanted. The test queue page allows me to manage all of my assessments for a student or class. I'm going to click on the Manage Class Queue button. And from here, we see that we have three different type of assessments. We have Comprehensive Diagnostic, which are your multiple measured assessments that you would do in reading or math at the beginning of the year. So it's going to assess somebody or a student in many different areas and find the student's zone of proximal development with each of those subtests, right? So this is you do at the beginning of the year and maybe the end of the year. If we want to do formative testing for progress monitoring, this is brand new in 2020, I could queue up specific subtests. So let's say in reading, I want to test just phonics. If I queued up the phonics subtest, it would find the student's zone of proximal development within phonics, so it adapts up and down. If I wanted to do something in math, let's say I want to do fractions, I could queue up the entire fraction subtest as well, and it would find a new uh, instructional point for the student. If I wanted to go down to the next level, I would do skills and concept quiz testing. So this is where I would say, let's look at short vowel, which is a specific skill within phonics. It would queue up a very short uh, quiz. In this case, it's 10 items, and it would uh, test whether the students have uh, short vowel knowledge mastered or not. If I wanted fractions, I could do um, adding fractions. So adding fractions like denominator, adding fractions with unlike denominator, adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominator. So I have three different options here. I can queue those up. All right, so that's really, really powerful. Now, the neat thing about all of this is all of these three levels of assessments, the data flows into the same vertically aligned data set. So when I initially assess the students, I have grade level scores telling me how they're doing in all these different areas. The subtest diagnostic, the skills concept quizzes all flow into the same set. So I can now have real time progress monitoring, right? So that's quite significant. And you can watch a separate video on that to find out more. The next thing over here on the scores and reports, this is where I can go ahead and go to ELA or math, Active Pulse. And this is where I can actually get my latest data set on my students. I can get individual student reports, a special ed report so I can write an IEP, um, standards reports. I could analyze my class um, from a different way. So it's really, really powerful. But you can watch a separate video on the, uh, ELA and math on that. Finally, under instruction, this is where I could um, do custom assignments based on the data. I could also um, look at my Khan Academy alignments. Khan Academy is free, so it's just a free add-on. If you're doing our assessments, you can now look at the um, videos um, that are assigned. I could also use EDGE, which is our LGL EDGE. And on this one, I could um, enroll students in specific courses automatically, so every student gets their own specialized direct instruction on their own course in reading and math. Um, I could also look at my class map to monitor my students, to see, oh, where are they doing? How are they doing? How much time have they been on task? Lots of great tools over here. Um, I could even take any of these individual lessons and display, display them right here now on my computer screen for my class. So if I have a whiteboard, if I'm doing it virtually, I could teach my students Greek and Latin roots. I could go ahead and do capitalization, uh, vocabulary, cause and effect, all different sorts of, of great options. Um, that are available to you. So, so that's a system overview. Um, there's also a whole nother data portal which allows you to do uh, uh, pull reports, whether it's extract or whether it's a list of all 
uh, lessons that have been completed. Um, that's a whole nother system that's quite extensive. And that's also probably used by your administrators who, who need to pull data for accountability or for a deeper diagnosis. All right, check out the other videos and you can find out more about our system. Thank you.